from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Features Edition for Monday, May the 29th, 2023. We open with a look at the launch this past Thursday of the U.S. administration's national strategy to combat anti-Semitism, which includes, the White House said, over 100 new actions the administration will take to raise awareness of anti-Semitism and its threat to American democracy, protect Jewish communities, reverse the normalization of anti-Semitism, and build cross-community solidarity. Jewish organizations had urged President Biden to make sure the strategy fully embraced the working definition of anti-Semitism of the IHRA, the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance. And the strategy does, calling it the most prominent definition, which it says the United States has embraced. In addition, the strategy states the administration welcomes and appreciates the nexus document and notes other such efforts. The nexus document differs from the IHRA in limiting when it deems criticism of Israel to be anti-Semitic. The White House strategy did also state that it reaffirms the United States' unshakable commitment to the state of Israel's right to exist, its legitimacy and its security, and makes clear that when Israel is singled out because of anti-Jewish hatred, that is anti-Semitism. Jewish organizations welcomed the Strategy Thursday, a joint statement from the Conference of Presidents of major American Jewish organizations, with dozens of other Jewish groups, including the Anti-Defamation League, the American Jewish Committee, the American Zionist Movement, and B'nai B'rith International, said of the strategy, we welcome the embrace of the IHRA working definition, which is a continuation of long-standing U.S. policy and a critical tool in the fight against anti-Jewish hate and bias. We look forward to collaborating with the White House and Congress to ensure the implementation of this national strategy. B'nai B'rith, in its own additional statement, noted they were disappointed by the mention of the nexus definition, saying, We believe that definition allows the more invidious of Israel's nemeses to hide their animus behind quote-unquote strident criticism of Israel. But said, even with those concerns, we are deeply satisfied that the national strategy to fight anti-Semitism provides an invaluable investment in promoting and realizing tolerance, safety, and security for Jews across the country. In some other news, three Israeli startups were chosen to try out their clean water technologies in Africa, working with Israeli not-for-profit Innovation Africa, which provides clean water for people across 10 African countries. The startups were chosen in a competition run by Innovation Africa together with Israeli climate technology community Desertech. The Times of Israel reports these startups are Esmems, NanoClear, Water Solutions, and Soled. Water quality expert at Innovation Africa, Reut Yahav Spitzer, said Israel's water ecosystem has much to offer. And Desertech helped us work closely with diverse entrepreneurs to build fruitful collaborations. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Monday, April the 29th, Memorial Day. At 7 o'clock, Erez Sherman speaks with U.S. Navy Chaplain Rabbi Arnold Reznikov. At 8, Abigail Pogorbin is joined by author Robert Mnuchin to talk about The Jewish American Paradox, his book that explores the conundrums of Jewish identity, faith, and community in America. At 8.30, Pogorbin sits with Jason Kander to discuss Invisible Storm, about his struggles with PTSD from service in Afghanistan and his journey to hope and healing. At 9, Marine Zach Iskol is on L'Chaim. At 10.30, it's a World War II story of Jewish triumph. And coming up next, Good Week, Israel. And that's the JBS News Features Edition for Monday, May the 29th, 2023. Stay healthy, stay well, and wishing you a meaningful Memorial Day. <laughs>